everybody it's scorpion here so i'm going through the test and buy prices on the board sort uh website for the i series chips just kind of giving y'all a breakdown of how it works and that kind of thing remember this is the test and buy prices this is not scrap price if you send it in for the test and buy and it doesn't test out good then it falls to the scrap price but y'all stick around and i'll show you how it works Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Alright, so you can go to the top up here. It says test and buy prices. This is on the board sort um, website. If you go to test and buy, it brings up the i-series chips. i3 with the three numbers after, i5 with the three after, i7 with the three after, and i3, and that would be 2000 series. And so all the 100 series and that 2000 series are all showing scrap price, which is $8 and something pound, I believe. Um, so they just stay with your no-pin CPUs and go in there. So your i5-2000 series is the start of your prices. And I'm going to see if I can't find a chip, but hopefully I can show you what it says. So this is a, this chip right here is going to be, it says Intel Core i3-4170. All right, so I'm going to hold it up here. It says it right there just above my thumbnail. Hopefully you can read it. I'm gonna try to get the light on there so you can. But anyway, so you're gonna go I3 and the thousand series. So not a three, it's gonna be 4,000 series. So all you're looking at is that first digit. So I3 4,000 series is $2. So that that's worth two dollars by itself this is going to be a i3 3000 series chip hopefully you can read that so i3 3000 is worth a dollar uh this is a i7 2000 series i7 2000 is worth eight dollars So I didn't understand because I'd never messed with this stuff before until I, until I sat down and started wiping the backs off and really looking at what the chips say and that's how I figured out the i-series. So you're sending these in as in working condition for them to test. If they test it and it works, whatever it says next to that series chip is going to be what you get paid for that chip or that CPU, maybe I should say. if it doesn't work it falls back to the scrap price of i think it was 875 a pound um so this is a i5 4000 series it's i5-4460 right there next to my thumb so i5 4000 series is worth five dollars Um, this is the i5 3000 series, so you go to i5 3000, it's worth two dollars. This is a i7 8000 series, and it's actually here, so hopefully, y'all can read that. So, i7 8000 series, you're gonna go down here i7 8000 series this chips worth 50 bucks by itself so you gonna want to wrap them up real good take good care of them you don't want a bunch of stuff on the backs of them and all and they're going to test them and see if they work and if they do whatever's on the right is what you get paid for that that chip are these worth milling in i think so i've got some quite a few that are eights ones twos i got one that's 50 so yeah but um anyway hope that helps y'all understand the i-series chips and how to 
look at the testing side of stuff. If you don't want to test them and you want to go back to the original, you know, price, you go down to your CPU and chips category, scroll down, it's going to be no pin CPU, which is $625 a pound. So, $625 a pound or $50 a piece, they're worth looking up to see what they're worth. Now, the ones that are only worth a dollar, will I send those in? Maybe, maybe not. Just depends. Um, but at $50 for one, I'll send that in. Uh, the rest of them I may process. So we'll see how it goes. But hope hope this uh, helps everybody understand the I-Series test and buy prices and what it's for. See y'all next time.